All right, so I did a video yesterday. Yesterday was Saturday of Memorial Day weekend. Uh, I did a video yesterday, big long spill. It took forever. I didn't really like it. I'm gonna try to condense it down a bit, okay? All right, so Memorial Day weekend, first off, remember it for what it is, Memorial Day weekend. It's just not another long weekend to get a bunch of stuff done. Uh, even though I did get some stuff done. But it is to remember soldiers that died in the line of uh, duty. Okay? So take time. That would be tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, Monday, I mean. Sorry. For that. Okay? We thank those people who died for our freedoms. Including Second Amendment freedoms. Alright. So... Uh, last year-ish, I picked up a new carry gun, everyday carry gun, uh, the CZ, CZ, P07, okay, I did carry it for a little while, alright, what were my thoughts, I didn't, know, I never did a big long, uh, after the fact review. It was uh, when I got it review. I'm a big guy, but that being said, it was still just a little on the waist with the uh, holster. Still just a little bit too bulky for me. Folks have summer carry, winter carry. It was just all together. A little pulling my pants down. If I had a gun belt, better gun belt, uh, it might have been better, but it was still printing. It was still heavy uh, In the sense that you knew it was there All right, so I wasn't as carrying it as often as I'd like I ended up carrying my pocket pistol my uh, Ruger LCP 380 All right, so uh, What did I end up going with? I went with an M&P 9 Shield M2.0. Now this comes from the factory with no safety and it has factory tritium night sights. I outfitted it with, it comes with two 8 round mags and one 7 flush round. I outfitted it with these Hive Technology base plates to give it a red accent. And it's also got an Olight PL Mini 2 Valkyrie on it. We're going to try to do some night firing tonight here in just a few minutes. Um, and holster wise, this is a, I'll have to put the link in it. Um, uh, Tech, I'll put the thing in there. They do custom holsters, custom colors. Uh, this one has a thing for the light. All right. So that, it's a pretty sweet rig. I like it. All right. So, let's go over it. Size-wise. I've got some pictures I'll put up of the weights. Try to get this hole. All right, so this has higher capacity, obviously, the CZ. Uh, it holds like 15, I think, in the mag, and this one holds a, a eight in the mag. All right, so this one's obviously got the capacity, but it is larger and heavier. This one conceals better, even with the light, all right? Other thoughts. All right, 
So, that being said, I took them out yesterday and shot them both at the same time. I shot the CZ first. I did pretty good with it. Okay? Uh, like I said, it is a larger. Holds better recoil. Uh, longer slide. Longer sight. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Longer sight radius. Blah, blah, blah. The trigger on this CZ, I am not going to lie. I like the trigger on the CZ way better than I do on that Smith & Wesson. Smith & Wesson. Okay. After shooting that one, I was shooting on target well. And then I picked up the Smith & Wesson, my new everyday carry. And it did absolutely terrible for me, fundamentally wise. I think if I would have shot it first, I would have been all right. But after squeezing the smoother, lighter weight trigger, by the time I got to the Smith & Wesson, it was a heavy trigger pull. It felt like it was on safe almost. I was like, oh, what, what's going on? Something's wrong with it. But no, it was just a heavier trigger pull, and I was yanking all my shots to the left. So uh, I reshot today. It did better today shooting it first. So be sure to shoot your carry gun quicker. All right. So which one do I like better to be honest with you I like the CZ better it shoots way better for me okay but it is uncomfortable to carry in my opinion for everyday carry the Smith & Wesson just carries lighter more concealed less bulky I can carry it all day without any issues I can sit down in the car without issues I can go to a restaurant without issues. I can go to the store without issues, without it printing. Uh, the CZ, I go to stores, sit in the car, it's jabbing me in the gut. You know, on this, on a side note, this has some texturing right here that I smoothed out with some sandpaper. Okay, just because this here was, felt like skateboard tape rubbing against you. All right, so, We'll do a short shooting session of these. I'll let you see how I shoot these at 10 yards. And here in a minute, I am going to try to do some night shooting. As soon as it gets dark, around 8-ish. Okay? Uh, but, that being said, this is a pretty sweet rig. Uh, I do like it. The CZ just shoots better. But, of course, so does a big old... Uh, rifle but I'm not carrying that so this is what I'm carrying so I'm gonna try to redeem myself anyhow we're doing one mag each of eight rounds Smith & Wesson's gonna be orange CZ is going to be green I'm gonna do eight shots with the uh, Smith & Wesson first and uh, target is at 10, wherever it is, 10 yards away. We're shooting cheapo wolf ammo. Both of these firearms feed those just fine. I'm not trying to take super, super long shots, but I'm also not uh, trying to be tactical here. Just standard basic shots. Hopefully I do better with the Smith & Wesson than I did yesterday. Because uh, I got, I'm going to do five shots in the chest area and three shots in the head area. Yesterday, I didn't hit the head with the Smith & Wesson. They were all left of it.
All right. CZ's up. I did better with the Smith than I did yesterday. But I think if I would have shot the CZ first and then the Smith again, I probably would have done bad. Let's go check it out. All right, so the Smith & Wesson's already been circled in the orangish red color. So here's the CZ. There's one here. Two, three, four, five. So those were pretty much closer. I had one right there in the middle for the uh, upper. One, two, three all right so i got all the shots on the target but the cz was a little closer which is to be understanded it is a bigger gun heavier gun longer bore uh whatever you want to call it bore axis whatever um and the cz the the trigger on it is in my opinion, phenomenal compared to the Smith & Wesson. All right, folks, it's dark enough out. We're gonna try it out. Okay, first up, the Smith & Wesson, eight rounds, same as earlier. Wait for this car to go by. I don't want to wait too long. Freak the neighbors out. Here we go. It is darker out than it looks like on the camera. I can already tell you that looking at the screen. All right, we're gonna mark that with red. I'm gonna go check it out and then we'll shoot the CZ. I'm gonna uh, put the O light on it. All right, real quick, I'm gonna tell you what I'm seeing in my sight picture. So I had the red like I did earlier. I can't see that, I can't make it out with the light on, uh, but I can still see the silhouette. So I'm still doing as good as I can, as well as I can. Uh, for the Smith, I did pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and do the uh, CZ with the O-Light on. Let's go see what we did. 
All right, I'm gonna try to get this in camera. Give me a second. Here we go. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five with the Smith. One, two, three up top with the Smith. And then for the uh, CG, we've got one down here, two, three, four, and then there's five right there. And then we've got one, two, three. So they both did well. I had a couple down below with the CZ, but I did get that one in the middle. So they both did well with the O-Lite in the dark. Okay, that is going to be it for this review. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out Mechanet, Mechanet Tech holsters. Cover Tactical is what I have to use to uh, mount the light on the Smith. And then it's an O-Lite on the Smith & Wesson. And then Hive Technology base plates if you're interested in what I've got on that setup all right uh, on a side note uh, the sights at night they're both kind of comparable uh, but I do like the sights on the uh, CZ better uh, during daytime that front post sticks out a lot better than the one on the Smith & Wesson all right thank you for watching happy Memorial Day don't forget to take time to remember those who fought for our freedoms.